Uh, Scarborough Sanitary District, regular monthly meeting, September 28th, 2023. I will first do the roll call. Uh, Tony? Here. Uh, Jason? Here. Ruth? Here. And I am here, Ben. And I'm filling in for Nick Rico. He is away. And Mike Stein has an excused absence. Mike Stein has an excused absence as well. Yes, Joe is all, that's right, I'm sorry, and, Joe is And working. Joe as well. Next on the agenda is approval of the minutes. Our uh, July, and we'll start with July. Do we have a motion? A uh, motion to approve the July meeting minutes. Second. Any discussion? And or corrections. Or corrections. Hearing none, all in favor? Any opposed? Motion passes. Approval of the August monthly meeting minutes, which were very short. Do we have a motion? I defer, I wasn't here. Okay. Uh, I was not here either. No, it was Ruth. That's why we didn't have a meeting. Okay. Was, uh, <laughs> and you, you can make the motion, I believe. I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion, motion that we approve those minutes, which simply said we didn't have a quorum and didn't have a meeting. And I... <laughs> can, I can I vote unanimously <laughs> to <laughs> approve my motion? <laughs> Okay. All in favor? Motion carries. <laughs> Next item is our superintendent's monthly operations report. Okay, thank you. A uh, copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of July and August are included in your packet. For July, our average F1 flow uh, was 1.85 million gallons per day. Our F1 quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 91% uh, BOD removal and 94% TSS removal of total suspended solids. With F1 concentrations of 20 and 12 milligrams per liter, per, uh, respectfully. For August, our average F1 flow for the month was 1.62 million gallons per day. And again, our F1 was well within our permitted limits, averaging 96 percent BOD removal and 98 percent total suspended solids removal uh, for concentration averages of nine and five respectfully. A copy of the pump station flows for the months of July and August were also included in your packet. No concerns were noted. Um, what, uh, pump station number two, what well up, up, uh, upgrade. Uh, the shop drawings are still being reviewed. All on-site work has started this week. Uh, we will actually be doing, uh, we're scheduled to do some nighttime work this coming Tuesday, uh, where we have to do some pipe modifications. And in order to do so, we have to take the uh, uh, pump station offline. So we're gonna to have to have some septic hauling trucks and, and coordinate uh, managing the flow during that period of time. So that work will probably be, begin with people show up about 11 p.m. and go right until uh, three or four in the morning. Uh, the wastewater treat, treatment facility odor control system is still uh, is under con construction. I, I provided a progress for uh, photo for you. The shell has been fully erected. Uh, the watertight testing has been completed and the installation of the media and, and other ancillary systems remain. And that's actually scheduled to take place next week. It's been moved up a little bit. Um, Green Mile Solar has received permission to operate as of September 5th. So they're now in the process of filing the paperwork needed for the uh, NEB program. Hopefully by the end of next month, we'll start seeing some uh, rebates from that, that program once that comes, comes online. Uh, Sean, Rudy, and Paul and Carl finished the installation of the generator at Pump Station 1. Uh, this replaces the 1983 unit that was installed when this station was built. Pepple Cove Marina has completed their annual inspections of our outfall. 
They found some mechanical failures and uh, repaired uh, what they could. Over the winter, we'll be working with the dye team to develop a plan to address what they could not address, uh, repair at the time. What, usually what we do is we have some repair kits and collars available uh, to make what is necessarily done to do at the time and then a uh, plan for the next year on to address what else is found while they're out there. Uh, we have completed the state's 10-month testing program of our effluent for PFAS. Uh, we had an average concentration of 63.3 nanograms per liter uh, and a range of 52.2 to 87.4 nanograms per liter. Uh, Maine DEP has not begun phase two of the testing program uh, with the sanitary district, but has reached out to begin planning. We should be uh, meeting with DEP this coming month to develop that sampling program. Uh, we have hired a consultant to update our website. Um, oh, and next, next month uh, for the next meeting, they need to uh, come and then take some photographs of the, the uh, trustees so they can uh, incorporate it into the... Uh, into the program, so uh, we'll be doing that next month. Uh, we come to the meeting to take those photographs. Dress appropriately, yes, please. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, once again, Ken Welch has confirmed his laboratory proficiency by successfully completing the 2023 discharge monitoring report to quality assurance study. Proficiency testing allows the state regulators to assess the quality of the data reported by wastewater treatment facilities having, by having facilities test unknown samples um, maintains an important level of quality control on self-reported data. I have a few other items to cover that I didn't include in my notes. Um, we have just recently switched uh, fuel oil uh, supply uh, companies. Uh, we, we switched from Dead River to Frederick's uh, Brothers, uh, frankly, because uh, Dead River could not uh, deliver us an emergency fuel oil need that we have in a timely manner, and Frederick's Brothers stepped up to the plate and, and uh, really um, did us a solid. Um, let's see, Ken Welch. Uh, just completed his 46th year here at the Sanitary District. Um, he started on uh, September 26, 1977. So um, that's, that's impressive. My, my blog. Yeah. Um, the, the Sanitary District right now actually is now debt free. We made our last uh, bond payment. Um, don't get too excited because we'll be going out for some bonds at the end of this year to cover some needed upgrades, but they will be far less than uh, our original bond. Um, next week, we'll be uh, sitting down with uh, Wood and Kern to go over our SCADA system to start the budgeting process, which we're, next month is when we kick that program into gear. And... Um, so, uh, and coming up in November, we will have our budget workshop. So that's where we are. And that's Dave. Um, what I got is we're in the current, did they, have they done the present skating system? The, 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 did they design it? The yeah. original one? Yeah. No, they, they did not. That okay. was the AEC was the original designer of the, the, uh, SCADA system when the plant was upgraded back in, what was that, 95? Okay. Any other questions or comments on that report? Hearing none, we'll go to correspondence. All right. Um, 48 Pine Point Road, we had an ability to serve letter uh, that we provided for a 12-lot subdivision, which is to be located at the 48 Pine Point Road, which is map in lot 64, R64, lot two. And a copy of that letter was included in your packet. Uh, we had a discharge incident report for Sawgrass uh, Drive uh, that we had to submit. Uh, Portland Water District was replacing a valve and unintentionally struck a low pressure sewer lateral on August 1st at 10 a.m. 
Uh, Risbera was called in and, uh, to make the repairs and a vacuum truck was dispatched by Portland Water District to manage any of the flows. Uh, the vacuum um, minimal of any wastewater was released and repairs were completed by 5, 5 p.m. A copy of that incident report was included in your packet. Uh, the main public Utilities Commission sent a notice of enforcement investigation letter to the district describing a possible violation by the district to, uh, to fail to properly mark that sewer. Uh, I have left uh, now four messages for Richard LeClaire over a five week period of the PUC um, and with no return call. I am strongly protesting this notice on several grounds, primarily that the dig safe was called in as an emergency dig safe, but this was actually a planned event. Um, uh, <clears throat> they actually called on in the dig safe on to our voicemail, which we didn't get until later in the morning. They left a voicemail message after hours. Uh, P, uh, PWD had already excavated down to the valve prior to the district arriving on site, uh, yeah, making, it un it, um, making it impossible for us to, to, to mark it. So, um, you know, with, digs, with the PUC not responding, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get very frustrated with that piece of it. So I'm at the point I want to write them a letter. Then, oh, oh, is that it? Oh, so you wrote two extensions, all right. Uh, the attached letter was sent to the town expressing district support to the town's effort to extend the, the sewer on sewer road. And uh, the, I also included a letter to the town expressing the district's concern requiring the, um, regarding the proposed sewer ordinance updates and requested a workshop to discuss those items. And that is it now with regards to any questions or comments regarding the correspondence? Seeing none, we will go to old business and we have no old business, which will take us to new business. The first item of new business is the Downs, pump station numbers 26 and 27, easements deed and memo of understanding. Okay. Do we have a motion? Uh, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Let me read out. So attached are the copies of the proposed pump station 26 easement deed, pump station 26 force main memo of understanding, pump station 27 lease of easement, and pump station 27 warranty deed. As approved, the district agrees to accept these pump stations as district infrastructure. These easement deeds and memo of understanding set the legal framework needed for this to happen. Bernstein Shore has been reviewing these documents and is present here tonight on the district's behalf. I recommend authorizing the superintendent to execute the final documents as recommended by Bernstein Shore. Now you ask for the motion. Do we have a motion? Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Tony. Now, um, Peter Van Hamel from Bernstein Shore. Do you, would you like to come up to the? Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the trustees. Um, as David summarized, we've been working with the, the Downs uh, crew, primarily with their engineers. This is the Crossroads uh, group out of Respara. Um, to understand their sequencing on these documents and to make sure that the terms and conditions are uh, adequate and protective of uh, the district's interests and that of the ratepayers. Um, what they are proposing is best understood by reference to an incredibly large graphic plan that Dave and I viewed at the Office of their Engineers. I don't think it's available here. I think Dave requested that from them and may have access to it behind the scenes. It's a, it's a magnificent document, but very hard to view. <laughs> So, uh, and that explains the, the pump station relationships, the um, temporary force main uh, project, uh, and the sequence of events here, which um, we've walked through. If there are any questions, I'm happy to, to guide the trustees through it. But I have had eyes on this with Dave in the engineer's offices. I've worked with the council for the Downs uh, Development Group to get the terms correct. We've made a few corrections. 
to the documents and the plans as they've uh, gone by. And if you want an overall summary or want to do question and answer, whatever format serves the uh, the trustees best, I'm I'm happy to follow. Dave, I have a question. Relative to um, uh, as built drawings, do, mm -hmm. do you guys get a copy of the actual um, conditions that were in the field? Yes, uh, as part of the uh, the, the uh, final acceptance process is making sure we get uh, both uh, PDF copies of the as built and uh, the town gets the uh, CAD files such that they can okay. incorporate them into their GIS system. Any any other questions? I'm they're fascinating documents. I know. <laughs> but <laughs> they do track well, so they, they 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 seem to have the bases covered. And again, I'm I'm happy to recommend acceptance on these things without reservation. And this is nothing different than what was um, always planned for during the acceptance of the uh, of, of these uh, the approval process of these of these projects. So this is what was anticipated, and you guys voted. Any other questions? Great. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. All in favor? Any opposed? No, no, no opposed. All in favor? Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. Um, infrastructure acceptance, the downs. Attaches a letter requesting the district take ownership of the sewer and the public right away for phase two, four, six, eight, nine, pump station 26 and pump station 27, as outlined in their letter, dated uh, July 17th, 2023. And as outlined in our approval letters for these projects, the total value for this infrastructure is uh, $4,483,652.58. Um, the district has completed a final inspection of this infrastructure and is developing a punch list. I recommend acceptance of this infrastructure with the following uh, conditions that uh, all deficiencies identified in the final inspection be corrected to the satisfaction of the district superintendent. We have a motion. Motion to approve as read by the superintendent. Second. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Tony. Discussion? Is there any discussion? Questions? Is this, 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 this number, Dave, is that the, con the uh, who, who came up with that number? That's based off of their uh, uh, AIA documents as okay. they go out to bid for uh, pro the projects, and it divides, you know, there's the sewer portion. There's so, also, you know, roadways and stuff right. like that. So this becomes part of the uh, total capital to the district, right? Correct. Yeah. Yep. And we, we asked for that information for our accounting purposes. So. Uh, just a question, Dave, is there a timeline on the final inspection time frame? For me to complete? Yeah. Uh, it's actually now, well, I think there's uh, just one or two more streets that need to be TV'd. We'll be, we'll be done within the month. Any other questions? <clears throat> All in favor? Unanimous. Going to item C. 28 First Street Municipal Release Deed as a result of a district lien maturing. This property was foreclosed upon. All monies have now been uh, that all monies owed to the districts have since been paid. I recommend authorizing the treasurer to execute this municipal release deed. Motion. Tony. Second. Ruth, thank you. Discussion? All in favor? Unanimously in favor. Thank you. Item D. 28 Dunstan Landing Road, uh, again, a municipal release deed, and uh, same, same story, as a result of a district lien maturing, this property was foreclosed upon. All monies owed to the district have since been paid. Uh, thus, I recommend 
authorizing the treasurer to execute this municipal release deed. I have a motion. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Ruth. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Unanimously approved. And item E. The eight month budget summary is included in your packet. I recommend approval. Motion to approve the budget summary. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Ruth. Any discussion on the budget summary? Seeing none, all in favor? It is unanimously approved. And uh, any, <clears throat> any public comments tonight for the meeting? Seeing no public comments, we'll go to trustee comments. Start with Ruth. Thank you very much, Dave, for all of your hard work that you and your team do out there. We appreciate it. And um, welcome, Paul. <laughs> all right, Jason. Uh, same thanks to the district staff and everybody for all their hard work. Uh, happy 46th anniversary to Ken Welsh. That's an amazing career with the district. Uh, for those of you who may not know Ken, he is uh, top notch, always comes out and says hi whenever I'm there at the district, um, but at the same time keeps a, a tight shop there and uh, is always uh, quick witted and fun to be around. So congratulations, Ken, and thank you for your service. And uh, Another thanks to Peter and Bernstein Schur for uh, working with us on these acceptance uh, agreements. Much appreciated. And that is all. All right, Tony. Yeah, I agree. I knew Ken when I first started working for the district, and he's a quiet guy. Didn't say much, but he's a doer. He just gets things done. And for all the people that work at the district, it's an amazing staff you have there. Just. It blows me away how many people have stayed there for the longest time. So, um, also, Dave, uh, I I can see your frustration sometimes when you're put in a situation like the happened uh, with the excavation. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, 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 that, those are hard things to to you know you're trying to clear it up and no one's responding back to you. Right. It can be completely frustrating. So I'm glad that you're being diligent about making it. And making it happen, so appreciate that. You know, if we were in the wrong, I would be yeah. totally bellying up to the bar and uh, addressing it, but I, mm -hmm. I strongly feel that we weren't, and I thought, think uh, uh, they were trying to throw the district under the bus and, and <laughs> um, not accepting it. Yeah, agreed. So thank you for the board. Appreciate all you help, all every, what everybody does. Thank you. Yeah, thank you to all, all the staff for doing a great job over there. And I, I got to visit last week. I hadn't, I hadn't been there in a couple of years, so it was nice to visit again. I got to meet and talk to the contractors that were do, doing the new odor control system, and it's interesting to chat with them for a few minutes. And uh, congratulations to Ken, 46 years. That's, that's a great feat, and uh, also a testament to the, to the leadership of, of the district retaining employees. So, thank you. And the final motion of the evening? Motion to adjourn. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Tony. All in favor? Unanimous. Thanks, everybody. Nice Thank you. Good job tonight. <laughs> <laughs> tough shoot, tough shoot.